hello everyone welcome to our another tutorial in this tutorial we will show you how to enable a pop-up card and then we will also show you how to enable a pop-up checkout in your WooCommerce enabled store so for this tutorial we will be using a plugin called instantio and we'll be using its both free version and we will also be using its pro version because on the free version they have the pop-up cart option and on the pro version they have the pop-up checkout option so whichever works for you we will be covering both of uh, the uh, tutorial in this video so let's get started um, before we move forward let me show you what we will be achieving after the end of this tutorial so this is the plugin we'll be using it's called instant use so and they have this demo on their home page so if we open this pop-up cart and check out um, so this is the pop-up cart and check out and they have another demo is pop-up cart so the pop-up cart is basically part of their free version so let me show you how it works so if we go to the demo and let me add a product to the cart and once the cart loads so as you see we have the full cart summary in a pop-up now you can either go to the documents default cart page or you can go to the checkout page and this is the pro feature where the pop-up cart and checkout both available within the uh, pop-up version so if we go and add a product to the cart now if we click it so as you see now we have the card summary and if we click course it to check out it goes to the delivery information and if you add all these information then you go to the payment stage and if at the end of the once you set all the payment gateways and everything and click place order everything will be done within here so basically no page reload whatsoever so it will actually help your users um, quickly check out your store and it will reduce your cart abandonment rate so now let's proceed so before we move forward we have to install a theme for this tutorial we used Astra which you as you already know this is the most popular theme in WordPress right now so we are using this for the sake of this tutorial you can easily use any uh, theme you want just make sure the theme is WooCommerce compatible now let me first install WooCommerce because Instantio basically works with WooCommerce. Oh, sorry, I added an extra zero. Now here is WooCommerce. Now we are installing WooCommerce. WooCommerce usually is a quite heavy plugin so it takes little time to activate so once you activate WooCommerce now we can go ahead and install Instantio now once you install uh, activate Instantio it will take you the quick setup wizard it didn't take me because I already installed Instantio previously on this store so I am showing you from the dashboard setup wizard so it will instantly take you to this uh, setup wizard if you go to get started now we will be using the pop-up cart and then this um, Instantio offers four different themes you can use the light theme, dark theme, glass morphism or gradient theme uh, we can use the light theme then go next then uh, we can leave these as they are so you can set the icon position you can auto open the toggle so if if anyone adds a product to the cart the toggle will open automatically then if you go next so here we can select the cart icons we can select some animation and we can enable this to hide cart button when no cart item and if we click finish so basically that's it now let's go back to the dashboard here you can do some more settings on the panel so uh, you can go to the design panel and add your designs and etc um, we already added some products on the store 
so let us uh, go to our home page and use the shop page here so now let me add a product to the cart so I already added a product to the cart so yeah so as you see the pop-up cart now appears so now we can play with some some of the options here so let's say if you want to so you can uh, upload your own cart icon you can change colors and on the cart panel so let me say the car so for example the color is now orange and we are want we want to set it like blue so now if we reload the color should be blue yeah uh, ignore the notice here because we are on the local store with uh, debug mode on that's why these notices are showing yeah so yeah uh, that's that's basically uh, almost all the features uh, for to enable the pop-up card rest of the items are basically your customization you can like add your different colors you can also yeah, instantly offers also checkout editor so you can edit different checkout fields of the WooCommerce and even like you can drag and drop the fields here and click save so it will drag and drop and then this mobile version and optimization are basically part of pro so that's basically the features of the pop-up card now let me um, enable the uh, pro version and show you how the pro version works now to enable the pro version uh, you first have to buy it uh, from their pricing page so they have these different pricing models here uh, you have the annual options lifetime options one website five website and unlimited website option so once you buy it uh, you have to go to the uh, client portal and go to download and from here you can download the pro version now let me go to our dashboard plugins add new upload and we can now upload instant you now once you activate it should ask you to add your license key we already added our license key so it didn't ask us so you have to add your license key which you can find from the license keys options here now let me go to the settings again now i'll be enabling the cart and checkout options so the cart and checkout options has two options one is you can either have it multiple step or you as i showed you at the beginning of this tutorial and you can also enable single step i will show you the single step later on so once you select the cart and checkout there are four different types of progress bar i can choose one and now i can save now if we do the same thing again so we already added the product to our cards so now as you can see we can now go to the checkout let me add some information Select uh, now. If we go to checkout, so now we have the order summary, contact, and we have the payment method. So, the payment method you can set up from WooCommerce settings. There are different tutorials how to enable different payment method on WooCommerce. You can look, look them at YouTube so once if i select cash on delivery and place order oh so i forgot my billing district and postal code so i have to select a district 
proceed to check out. Yep, now I can place order hopefully. Yep, there we go. So that's how the pop up uh, checkout works. Now we, uh, the rest of the options are quite self explanatory. Let me show you guys. So if we enable the dark mode and if we enable the single step. Now let me go to the store again. Add a product to the cart. So now you see, you see everything is within the same step. No uh, multi-step is necessary. You can just um, browse through the whole cart and place order. Uh, instant you also have upsell, cross-sell options, which we will cover on different video. And you can also, as I said already, there are other options which you can try out. Uh, most of the options are quite self-explanatory. For example, um they have these options for variable product to enable a quick view right so if you want you can disable this quick view you can disable ajax add to cart if you have problem with your themes ajax and you can show up sales cross sales on the design panel you have all these colors on the card panel you have the car you have the options to edit colors of the card check out payment pages and on the other tab we have custom css options and on the mobile version they have a dedicated mobile version the plugin itself is uh, responsive but if you want a dedicated mobile version you can enable this and you can enable the minified js options as well so that's uh, basically everything for this tutorial uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions thank you so much